Hey everyone, so I haven't done a vlog in probably two years, I want to say. Um, I think it was 20, mid-2015. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my cat's being crazy. Uh, so we just started 2017. Today is the uh, 3rd, so three days that I have been back on track and really paying attention and watching what I'm eating. Um, and a couple things I want to talk about. I just wanted to let you guys know that like I'm still around and I want to get back to doing vlogs. And I liked doing vlogs. I'm actually re-watching uh, Truly Jess, Truly Daily that she did. That's why I started getting into vlogs because um, she was a huge inspiration to me and one of the main reasons I mean she helped me lose like the first like around 60 pounds um, the first time I watched her videos so um, I'm gonna start back on my videos so my I'm basically starting over is what it feels like um, out of the total of 90 pounds that I had lost um, I've put almost almost all of it back on um, over the course of two years and sorry um, I really just stopped caring um, I knew it was still an issue for me I mean I'm gonna have food issues probably forever so this time it's really kind of being like okay so you did it once you know you can do it so that's good in my mind and you know that like, I know that I can't just completely abandon it either. Like, it has to be for the rest of my life. Um, so a couple things are different this time around. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, laugh at starting on January 1st. Uh, new year, new you, bullshit, whatever. Um, but for me, that's like a reset button. Um, I think every year is a new beginning, so to speak. Uh, so 2017, you know, January 1st, I started uh, getting back on track. A lot of you might watch me because I'm a Weight Watcher. Um, I actually have quit Weight Watchers, and I'll get in more to, into that in another video. Uh, the main thing was um, having a weekly weigh-in didn't work for me um, because I would go to my weigh-in. I'm sorry, my hair's crying. I would go to my weigh-in and weigh in and get that number in the book and then that day was like my cheat day. Hold on. Okay. My battery is like seriously low too, guys. And it's not going to tell me. Okay. So that would be my cheat day and then the next day would be my cheat day and that would be on a Friday and then a Saturday and Sunday. Then it's like why even uh, start? Is it skipping? I don't know what it's doing. Um, and there's going to be less editing. Okay, so I didn't know there was a maximum recording time on Samsung's. Might look into that. Uh, basically, okay, weigh in, cheat day, next day cheat day, day after that cheat day, Sunday, think about getting back on track, Monday, start to get back on track, Tuesday, uh, panic. Wednesday, starve. Thursday morning, uh, weigh in. That was my week, every week. Um, so really I decided, that was no, number one reason. Number two reason was the money, which nobody talks about how much Weight Watchers actually cost. Um, I was paying around 50 bucks a month. Now I know some people that might not seem like a lot, um, but if you're not following the program to a T, then you're wasting your money, like completely wasting your money. So. Um, that was another, that was the two main reasons that I quit. So this time around, I'm doing it for me. I'm holding myself accountable. Um, I'm going to do more frequent weigh-ins. I'm going to write it down once a week. But, and I know people say, don't get on a scale every day. Well, I've been doing it for five years. So I pretty much know how my body fluctuates. Um, I know what weight is water weight. I know what weight is you know, women, woman weight, and I know what weight is, like, salt that I had the night before, 
like I get it I know that stuff but seeing a number every day is gonna be better for me I'm not saying it's for everybody I'm saying it's better for me um, yeah so right now I am tracking calories I'm using my fitness pal um, I can send you guys like my name or whatever if you want to follow me I think you can do that on fitness pal <coughs> um, and I'm starting to learn if it fits your macros uh, which I don't know a whole lot about um, so that's I'm researching that right now I have like what fitness pal told me my macro should be and I have that wrote down and of course I count everything from my fitness pal so it shows me where I'm at with my macros um, but I want to understand it a little bit better and it's blinking at me again so I'm gonna wrap up this video this is just a short little hang em back intro this is what I'm doing. If you follow me on Instagram, you already have seen that I'm back. Um, you know, I've been posting food uh, recently. I have the four pictures, but I'm just not ready to put those up yet. Um, I worked out today. Today, day three was the first time, like, what, day one and two was just food, focusing, focusing on food. Uh, day three, I actually got on the treadmill and did a two mile walk, really easy easing myself in. Uh, eventually I'm going to do back to couch to 5k um, and that kind of thing. I'm also not a jazz or size member right now. Um, I also abandoned that. Uh, it's still blanking. And hold on, what if I just pause it? Okay. Uh, again, still running out of battery. So yeah, no longer Weight Watchers. Counting my macros. Um, food is on point the past three days. Uh, back to my water. Two of these bad boys a day. My hair is kind of cray. Sorry. Okay. Uh, because I did my two mile walk, like I said. And that's about it. So, starting 20. 17. We have big goals this year. Um, we'll see how it goes. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to keep following my videos. And I'm going to try to do more than I have because I kind of just stopped altogether. Um, so, I'm going to get back to it. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, I'll see you guys next time.